Hello, and welcome back to episode 3 of Mindful SMP. As you can tell by the state of this storage room here at my enclave, that it's a little, a little chaotic, and I have shulkers everywhere, and part of this isn't due to me preparing for resources and stuff for today's episode, but I truly need to get organized, because... I'm a little tired of hand sorting everything, and like this room is not large enough for me to make an empire here. And I need a lot more resources, and then I can also bring back my resources from spawn here, and all the other resources that I bring in. Because apart from also having the shulker monster, or the shulker farm on the server, I'm also the resident, residential shulker consumer. Um, I have a lot of resources, and I just like to use shulkers, so, and actually, I, Talking about my stats, I think I talked about my stats of andesite mining in the last episode. I had like 114,000 andesite mined, and so all that's in shulker boxes, so you, what, 114,000 divided by basically 2,000? That's like 70 shulker boxes right there. No, that's not even, that's not even close. It's like 55 shulker boxes. So, as you can tell, there's a lot, there's a lot of shulkers. So I need to find a way to store them all, organize them, and, and the best way to do that is with a giant storage system in the mountain so got a lot of mining to do a lot of building to do because it's gonna be big so let's get right into working on it Well, after like 16 hours of grinding, I was able to get the storage system done. And I just want to disclaim that this is not my design. This is a design which is a bunch of uh, collective pieces of storage tech. Um, I got this from the storage tech discord. And it is actually called the Gangles Grand MIS or Grand MIS 2.1. And so it's designed by Gangles, and also a lot of it with with a lot of information from Rapscallion, but two of both amazing people whom you should check out as well. But I spent, I finished it up six, about 16 hours, and then I've spent about another six hours setting up some filters, and also just doing some small testing and stuff like that, just to make sure that it's gonna effectively sort through it all. And so a few things that this has, is it has an input so you can you can put in 
empty shulker boxes on one side, anything that's not sorted comes over here. You can throw in loose items in the shulker box, and then you can also just throw in full mixed boxes as well. Has some pretty cool displays and everything like that. And then on the side, we have multi-item so uh, storage. And so at the very top, you can actually set up filters and stuff. So like in this chest, we have all the Blackstone variants. And at the same time, you can also get some full shulker boxes of a single item. So I haven't set everything up yet. As you can tell, like this is empty. But if we look over here, we can see like, oh, Cobble Deep Slate. We have Cobble Deep Slate down here. And the one thing that I don't like about this design, but I will manage, is that it doesn't fill the shulker boxes completely up before it breaks them, which is which is fine. So, so there's there's actually a greater or less chance of items being stuck in the back end until I can get to it. So I can still access the cobblestone. And technically, I think the cobblestone would also come up here because I set the filter up. And it's definitely not done. I still have a lot of items I need to sort, but I need to start processing items and figuring out, figuring out what items I need to do. So I have a little test up here of some unsortable items. Uh, but one thing I wanted to point out was you can essentially, you can essentially sort for any type of item in Minecraft now. And it's really cool. So there's this really cool contraption up top and I kind of know how it works, but I'm not comfortable explaining it. And it's actually a modification by someone who designed it. But essentially everything that goes through the system, if it doesn't get sorted, here there's a likelihood that it's a what quote unquote unstackable so that you can't stack multiple of the same item together like you can't stack splash potions or bottles or potions back there any of these items you can't stack so they get sorted out pretty close to the beginning and they go through an unstackable sorter and so like you can't put splash potions in a brewing stand with gunpowder it doesn't it doesn't work that way so then they get sorted down here you can't put bottle bottles you can put bottles into a brewing stand so then they get sorted down here and i just have some extra storage down here at temporary then it looks at flint and steel it looks it, it sorts every si single one of these items out and it even sorts full armor and even enchanted armor which is really cool to see so i'm excited to see how this works for us and so i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna break these shulker boxes this there are some a lot of these items we, i already have sorted for but yeah everything in there i've been sorted for i don't have anything sorted everything in here sorted actually as well i don't have the mob head sorted i don't have um stick sorted yet and so i'm really just gonna see what doesn't get sorted as well everything in here besides the mob head should get sorted as well so we're just gonna come over here we're gonna put them in there and we're gonna push the button and then I will hopefully see it's it's worth cycling so I don't have the chunk loaders yet up so I'll set up so I'll have to stay here in AFK and I'm hopeful hoping that in a few minutes that ever this will shut down and nothing's gonna get stuck in there and we shall see so this is the real true st stress test of the storage and I'll check back with you in a few seconds to see how it works well this is not really what i wanted to see here it's kind of weird a lot of the items got sorted how they needed to so like we have a lot of chests down here that all got sorted but this chest over here and this well this is not sorter but this sorter over here and that sorter over there both missed items or both absorbed items when they shouldn't have absorbed items so i don't really know exactly what caused that i just know that after the items get looped down below even though it's the farther side they get back put into the system into the multi-item sorters and so they follow like a u on each side so half of them pe pick up going one way and then they loop around and come down another side and then the other half pick it up and it's this one and this one are right at the end of the first loop so i but i wonder if there is a redstone signal that's off and whatnot but i i really don't want to deal with that right now so we're gonna we're gonna do something else for a little bit and see what other people are doing it to up on the server okay it looks like d is online so let's go bother d where are you at? Oh yeah, but so what cool thing that we've done is I've expanded some of this area. 
And I've actually gotten a lot of organized. Okay, so she's at her shroom village. So let us go over there. I'll be right there. Okay, so let's fly up to the portal. So as you are probably well aware, we have some custom generation on Mindful. And one of the cool things that D discovered was that there is a giant mushroom biome south of spawn a few thousand blocks and that is where she used to set up her base so we're gonna go run over there see if we can get some mushroom stems i was actually in the need for some mushroom stems and uh, some white mushroom stems to be honest i got brown mushroom stems and brown mushroom blocks but i really just need the stems now so she, since she lives on the Mushroom Island, she's been clearing it. It'll be nice to catch up, see what progress she's been doing over there. And also to see if we can barter some away from her, so. I'm a little... I don't have too many diamonds. But I think that would be very helpful to gather some of that from her. Hello? Oh, Mark? Hi, D. Hey, what's up? I am in a pickle. Well, I'm not actually in a pickle. I'm on a Mushroom Island. But... <laughs> And, I was about to say. And, and, I'm in a, and I'm in a fish pond. Okay. Um, yep. Don't you bird call me. That's uncalled for, Cheesh. Right? I'm just cussing you out there. That's yeah, mean. Yeah, I know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I am in need of white mushroom stem blocks. And I heard that you are the gal to get those from. That would be very correct. Sweet. What, how many do you need? Um... Well, how many do you got? I probably could go for like one or two shulker boxes full. Oh yeah, I can easily get that for you. You could easily get that. Yeah, yeah, this is actually where I store that. I've been kind of using this area to store all my shrooms. Oh my goodness, ma'am. Mm -hmm. you, you got a lot. You got a lot. Yep, just a few. <laughs> So, the only challenge is I don't have many diamonds because my shops aren't very profitable. Ooh, ouch, that sucks. Um, is there anything I can trade well, for you? Yeah, I was about to say, um, there is a section of my wall I'm building over above, beyond that mountain there. Um, I need a lot of andesite, maybe about the same amount, actually, like two shulker boxes. So oh, maybe we could trade. That's evenly. easy. That's easy. So, because if you if you didn't know, I have mined more andesite than stone because. Oh, seriously. I have a chance. I have I I have a problem. I have a problem. You I like just... digging holes in Minecraft? No, I absolutely hate mining. But everywhere I mine <laughs> is just andesite. So. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's it's a pain. So, and I can easily huh? get those for you, especially now that I'm all organized. So. Nice. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it's Let's been a lot take of a fun. Look at that thing. Well, it's a little uh, hen right now, but yeah. Well, oh. either way, I'm, I'm down to do the trade if you're down. Yep. Well, I'm Lark, to, to be honest, but oh, I guess I, I can be yeah. down. So. <laughs> okay. All right. Here, let me get the. I'll get the shulker boxes for you. Well, I'll go grab the, two boxes. Yeah, two boxes. I'll go grab the andesite, and yeah. I'll be right back. All right. Sounds good. So since I've since actually you probably have seen, I have. And a lot of storage and organization here. And I got all of my andesite condensed. Well, I hope I have it all condensed in a single location. And there's actually, like, I think another double chest full back there. Maybe some more. Um, so let's see here. One, two. And you know what? We'll, we'll give her a bonus because I know she's been using a lot of andesite. And we'll, we'll be generous. We'll be nice to D. Because D is going to hook us up. I'm back! Yay! Perfect! So I've got your shulker boxes right here. One and a two. Okay, and I have... I brought you three because I know Ooh. you don't get a lot of um, mushroom sims from your mushrooms. Even though you have, like, tons of them. Like, they're all giant. And you had a wandering trader, too. Yeah, he just popped up. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, but yeah, I appreciate it. You didn't have to give me three. Well, I mean, it's it's like a drop in the bucket. Well, is there a better reference? It's a drop. It's an andesite in the shulker. <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm leaving now. Beautiful reference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I, well, thank you. Enjoy your shroom blockies. Yeah, I will. I will totally, totally enjoy these. And I'll definitely have to take a tour next time I'm here because, yeah, you're a little, a little far away. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, little, a little far. Just a few walks. Just, just, walks. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can hook up like 10 portals and just have like a portal everywhere on your island. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Every ten feet, portal. Yep. Yep. That's exactly. No. <laughs> every chunk has its own portal. Here you go. Yes. Exactly. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yes. Okay. Thanks for your help, D. And I hope the anasite yep, treats no you well. Oh, I'm sure it will. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Now that we have the white mushroom stems, I can go ahead. Bring it over to... Where am I putting this at? Here? Here? Is it here? Yeah, it's right here. I can go ahead and put these inside of here. I can place this on the ground and grab just two out because that is all I need to set up the filter. And so we will go find the bricks up top. And so one of the cool things that this has is it has a secret door in the back right here to get to everything. I might have shown it off in the previous clips. But if I just go over to this, this is where the multi-item sorters are. So there's these chests here. I can grab them, search for the item that I need. And so I'm looking for birch variant, sandstone variants. Oh, it's it's going to be dirt and growing things. Oh, it's already have it set. So perfect. I must have had two mushrooms already. I just maybe didn't have any. That works out. So I can go ahead and replace these and then... We got a lot accomplished. So, as I said, we got a lot accomplished having the storage system, and I spent about 10 days in the interim, a few hours each day, kind of setting up filters, looking for more items and stuff, and actually the light above my head right there shows that I actually need to go ahead and find in there what items are in there and to set filters for them because they don't have filters for yet, which is fine. And when I get those done, everything should be sorted. But I've done a lot, as I said, and I really want to get this episode edited and shipped out to you. So I'm going to bid you all adieu, and I hope you all have a good time zone, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!